Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Everspace. Straight in and we've got an Outlook Scout here. So for those of you that haven't watched this video before, I'm sure most of you probably would have watched this by now. But this is a roguelike space shooter. Roguelike, rather. Space shooter, really. Come out in the accent there, didn't it? Right. So we're in the Scout ship, I believe. And we've got the Arc Lightning Weapon, which is a bit different to what I'm used to, but, you know, that's fine. And we've got an interior view this time. I'm going to try and do a few playthroughs like this, because it's been a while since I've done that. We've got the uh, first-person view without the cockpit as well. This reminds me a little bit of Free Space, and actually I was going to play uh, some Free Space. A very old game now, I think there's a few mods out for it. So if it's something you'd like to see, let me know, and I'll probably play that next time I guess. Alright we've got a jump suppression signal here. 40% strength we've got to get that up a little bit higher so we can find out where it's actually coming from. Most likely this base over here. Now we're thrust in in case you're wondering how that works we've got an energy bar below the reticule that's green it's slowly depleting. You have drawn the attention of hostiles. Ah. Uh. I don't think so. Where are these hostiles? Right, plasma field. Is this the jump suppressor? Here we go. Whoa. Turrets. Cool, that went with a bit of an impact, didn't it? Right, I think we're down on that. We missed the explosion there from the gas canisters, unfortunately. Or is another turret? I'm trying to hack that. Come on. Let's put some corrosive missiles over there on that. One thing about corrosive missiles, you get them on the scout here by default. And did we actually finish hacking that? Where are the turrets here? I'm not paying enough attention. Look at the cracks on the cockpit. We've knackered our ship already. There we go, slowly they're hacking away. So yeah, as I was saying, the corrosive damage at missiles, you can see it. We're in a way at the at turret now, even though we're not shooting it any longer and it's just about to go pop. There we go. But what we're going to need to do is try and repair our ship already because we're in a pretty bad way. That was unfortunate. I think we're very early on. Yeah. Sector 1, Zone 2. Hmm. Happens quite often, doesn't it? I get off to a pretty poor start with things, but... Well... The scout is lightly armoured, that's my excuse. Let's get the plasma while we're here, and then we'll have a look over on that... That freighter wreck over there. Fortunately, we managed to get the shield recharged anyway. So... Just maybe we'll find some nanos in here. So yeah, I was actually having a bit of a look at... Free Space 2, rather than the first Free Space. I can't remember when that came out, but I do believe it was what, the late 90s. Pretty sure it wasn't the early 2000s. Quite sure it was the early 90s. Either way, it's one of my favourite, if not my favourite, probably, space combat game of all time. I'm not sure quite how well it's held up to the test of time. I have mentioned um, one of the mods that came out for it a year or two ago, a Battlestar Galactica mod, and that's something I've also wanted to play here on the channel. Never actually really took enough time to play that game, the the mod that is for Battlestar Galactica. Can't remember what it's called, Diaspora. Diaspora? Based on the 2003 series, of course, probably one of the best science fiction TV series ever made. Excluding the Expanse, perhaps. Right, we're going to get out of here because we've got the Okar forces inbound and they will destroy us pretty quickly indeed and I don't want to be here when they turn up. So let's get into the second zone. Second zone of Sector 3. I'm going to go this way because we've got a possible encounter there. I can't quite see what that image is. It looks like it's one of the aliens. Hopefully I've already completed a mission for him. If not, he'll give me a new mission. And here we are, straight over there. Throng the alien. In his interesting looking ship. I'd like a ship like this one. Don't come any closer. 
Oh, Mr. Roslin, it's you. I do apologize. You caught me off guard. I was quite absorbed in analyzing some samples. Don't worry about it. I'm used to it. I got those green goo scannings you asked for. Transmitting data? Wonderful. The Vero Veridica Australia is mesmerizing, isn't it? Almost translucent mitochondria. Oh, please, before I forget, here is your payment for the task. And while the data the is being is evaluated, all one. would you mind answering for me the first question in my study of you? Sure. Shoot. I'm hardly going to do that, Mr. Roslin. Anyway, my question, do you ever dream of cloned sheep? What? N no, not that I remember. Mind you, I rarely get the opportunity to sleep these days. Hmm, I see. Disappointing. So, are you ready for your next scanning task? Why not? I feel like I'm learning something here. There is a fascinating growth under the surface of some ice asteroids. The Crescendia astraglacius. Or in layman's terms, the ice clinger. If you can examine a sample, I will give you enough so you can hopefully get some rest afterwards and have some dreams for me. That would be nice. But wait, ice clingers are not easy to identify. When the sun shines through the thinner parts of the asteroid, a glimmer should alert you to a growth. I'll keep my eyes peeled. So there we go. Now there's, oh, there's this, there's this ship. You know, I do like uh, ships that are a little bit more, how should we say, vertically orientated. Now this one is uh, symmetrical and also like asymmetric shapes, but all too often the ships are horizontal in uh, games, aren't they? We don't get too many, too many like this, like uh, Boba Fett's ship. Um, I think EVE Online is perhaps one of the only games I can think of where you get to fly these types of ships. I'd like to see them more in other games. Anyway, so yes, he said that look in the ice. Now it doesn't look like there's any ice in this particular system and I would be surprised if we got to find, um, if we got to find the objective of this particular quest in this mission straight away on this particular zone. Now, if I do die, I would of course be reset back to the start of sector one as it is a roguelike, but you get to keep these missions and these missions will hang around until I complete them and un until I meet Throng again at which point I'll be able to hand it in. It doesn't matter how many times I die in the between time. So we've got a Okar fighter here. We're out of missiles and we're going to die aren't we? Oh well. Now that's one of the reasons I don't like the uh, scout ship, it's uh, very much a glass cannon and I hesitate to use that fa uh, phrase because it doesn't do a particular huge amount of damage either. Much prefer the interceptor but we got 4700 credits so a little bit of money to spend on my ship. Oh actually we didn't have the uh, scout ship did we? That's the colonial scout, what was we flying then? We were flying the sentinel. I'm sure someone out there watching this video would have corrected me much early on. We're going to go back to the interceptor here and spend some of that money on the perks. So as I was about to say, there's some very nice graphical effects on the ice asteroids and hopefully that's something we get to see in due course. Now something I'd also like to see in other space games, always talking about other games out there. So rare loot chance. Yeah, why not? Let's start putting money in things that we don't normally use. Let's keep some, we can't afford that. Keep the crafting costs down. But we will use that. I'm not too worried really. We've put a lot of points in various different things that I mostly do want. We could have probably put some more holiday points. We've got a little bit more money left over. Don't really mind where I put this at this point. So off we go, let's go. Oh, perhaps I chose a hard last time. Hard with a weaker ship. There we go. So let's see if we can find them some ice asteroids for Throng. And we're once again in Sector 1 in a very dark zone. We got black space, not much in the way of nebula around here, just some very dull blue gas gas. Yeah, excuse me. Gas gas. Oh. 
not paying attention, too busy tripping over my words. So some very dull blue gas clouds over in the distance. Oh well. Oh well, that's how it goes. Right. Oh, wow. Really not with it today, am I? Missiles, who's shooting the missiles? Or was that one left over from No, something's still shooting at us. Whoa. I thought we was gonna get behind this asteroid just in time there. Well it looks like we are completely done already. I think what I've did is flew straight into a uh, hostile base there was a bunch of turrets there so that's probably the most the shortest run ever but we still made a thousand credits well there you go now i actually do like roguelike games uh, one of my favorite type of games i guess outside of uh, space games this one happens to be both but there are a bunch of other rogue legacy i really do like that and of course spelunky uh, ftl is another one if anyone's got any suggestions out there for some roguelikes I could try out, either on my own time or on st on stream or on video, I definitely would like to get into some. So, yeah, if anyone's got any ideas out there, let me know. All right, we're gonna not worry about those last few credits, and we're gonna jump straight back into it. Let's get going again and see if we can get a little bit further than just two minutes into this zone. Maybe it's got something to do Ready with the fact I'm flying in a... Better, yeah, better wouldn't be bad, would it? Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm flying in first person now and I don't normally fly in first person. You know, I've got to come up with an excuse of some type for that very poor demonstration of combat. I do prefer flying in third person anyway. got a slightly wider field of view. In fact, no, the field of view is not any different. I love the Gatling gun there. Let's see, two missiles should be enough. Wasted a third just now. Oh, but we do need a third missile for this. Not sure why that wants an extra missile. But you're using up nearly all our missiles here, so well batched over half of them. So we're gonna need to construct some more in a bit. Well that one was protected behind the scenery there a little bit, so two missiles completely missed the mark. Shame I don't need fuel because there's some fuel tanks there, but maybe. Yep, there is. There's a container around here. Probably only contains some gel. Any tech container though would be kind of handy as well. It looks like. Looks like nothing. Now I'm playing on the PC version. I actually get on really well with the keyboard and mouse on this. Uh, but it is available on both consoles, that's the Xbox as well as the uh, PlayStation, unfortunately. I don't think there's a Switch version. Got some minor ball ore over there. Now, I did play, uh, I think, the PlayStation version the last time I was playing the game. Very good build of the game. So it's pretty much identical to the PC version, with the exception that, of course, on PC you can use keyboard and mouse. And personally, that's my preferred way of playing by far I really did struggle I don't know if you noticed at the time but I really did struggle playing with this on the uh, controllers all right let's get going all right 
So we're going to choose the easy route for the moment because I've had enough of blowing up in this video. We've blown up twice and that's more than enough. But I wouldn't mind some slightly more colourful backgrounds. Right, there's a lot of ships over there. Quite possibly some turrets. Oh, some guys with beams. Not really damaged though, the Okar drones. Dreaded Okar drones, very much glass cannons, if anything is a glass cannon. Which is actually, speaking, what the scout ship is. I wasn't flying that last time, I was actually flying the uh, Sentinel. The Sentinel is the newer ship that comes with the Encounters expansion. And Encounters is also part of the expansion that allowed me to see the alien Thorg. Was it Thorg? That we were just talking to. So keep an eye out for that little base here. There may be some turrets on there, but it doesn't actually look like it. So it looks like we're safe, at least from that regard. Oh no, there is some turrets over there. Another... These asteroids make for fantastic protection. Come on, be something good in there. Bit of scrap, bit of fuel and... I do, do believe some gel. Alright, weapon overdrive. Oh, we got a new ship colour. Is there a way to get new thruster colours? That would be the th thing, wouldn't it? And um, swap and salvage. And weapon colours would be a nice thing as well. Well, why not? Let's just see the uh, gorgeous explosions. Oh, it did pay off. We got some nice bits of gas as well. Love the explosions in this game. Still got a green gaseous cloud over there, so I don't know entirely what was amongst the uh, fuel that exploded there. There was a different type of canister there, so maybe one of them was some other type of gas. It's gone. So, it's very small, very small zones. This particular playthrough with not a lot going on inside of them. Sometimes you have the uh, freighters and damaged bases even this early on. On this occasion, not so much, but you know, it doesn't matter, does it? Definitely flying better from the third person anyway, and I do prefer the game like this. Okay, let's head on out and off to zone three. We get in there. bunch of people off in the future uh, sectors. Oh, look at this planet. I'm sure I've said it before, but... For repair assistance. A reward has been offered in return for supplying it with the resources it needs. Well, if we've got the resources, maybe... Maybe we can do that. Now, look, here we've got some ice asteroids, and I want to see about doing these first. So, what the guy said on the thinner edges, and you can see this lovely graphical effect, you can see the the starlight shining through the edges of the ice asteroids so we should see some type of glint of something in there hopefully now I was talking about this with you know, a lot of contrast there as well actually ice and fire in fact I think this is going to be a really nice screenshot if we can get it let's actually get a bit closer to one of those ice asteroids so we get to see that contrast a little bit better always. So that one. Let's find one without too much of a shadow on it. There we go. I think we go there and I think that'd be a really nice screenshot. We use that as the a video thumbnail, I think. 
So what was I saying? A couple of things. Oh yes, we were looking for... See if there's life in these uh, ice asteroids, wasn't we? So there is a glint there, but I think that's a reflection off the fiery planet. And that was the other thing I was going to say before I got distracted with the contrast of the fire and ice. That's exactly the sort of planet I want to fly down to. I imagine there's possibly some really deep canyons there, all booming with, <coughs> excuse me, booming with fire and lava. You've been detected. <clears throat> no Anakin Skywalker down there though. At least hopefully not. Right, is this the one with the mission? We've got to repair it. I give him six all. The required resources have been transferred. You have received credits as a reward. Okay. Careful of friendly fire there. We don't want to shoot the freighter that we just helped. Right, let's have a look what this little base type area is about. Abandoned base, maybe. Oh no, we have got some hostile contacts. Turrets, maybe. Yep. I'm having trouble trouble hitting me because uh, the infrastructure is in the way. Oh, just put the overdrive on I think or the uh... let's keep it away of that missile if we can because it's bound to come back round. That's a trade there. There was another enemy around here wasn't there? Where are you? Yeah, it's the weapon overdrive. There's some fuel anyway. What we're going to want? Oh, that's gas, not fuel. Okay, that's probably what we picked up last time as well, I'd imagine. Alright, anything else around here? Yes, some turrets. Loads of turrets, in fact. Let's quickly build a few more. Hopefully we've got the resources to do that. We'll have eight. Let's see if we can get some shields on. Well, these really are light missiles, aren't they? Trying to use the shield booster there. Ended up pressing V, which switches me between the different views instead. Oh, oh we're doing so well with not crashing. So what are these star things over there? Ah, now these star things could be the little creatures, couldn't they, that are living on the ice or in the ice. Let's go have a look. I want to make sure we get to do this before the Okaf forces turn up. We've been here long enough now and it's quite likely that they're going to turn up for much longer. Right, so very different type of ice asteroid. Quite a different graphical effect on it as well. Right, so it's one of three. Let's see if we can get them all done before Okaf turn up. Did I get too far away? You know, I could stay still and do this, but I might keep moving. Now, I'm sure when I was flying over this way, I saw another one of those. Yes, over there. Is that the base I was actually at just now? It is, isn't it? Or maybe not, maybe it's another one. Don't know, I've took up myself, turned around. Yeah, same place. 
Yeah, there's the other one over there. Right, but task completed. We're fine. Oop, clip the wing. Right, I think that will do here. Let's head off to Zone 4. And we'll get to the jump gate. And we'll be getting close to Sector 2. I think we're nearly there. See so if we got enough uh, to repair the ship. Yep, but that used everything, unfortunately. Right, so we've got a service station here. Unfortunately, I used the nanobots already. We could have come here and probably, I probably repaired my ship. Oh, it's just a refueling station, but I will. I'm not worried about the money at the moment. I'd rather refuel as much as we can. Not quite to maximum, unfortunately, but, you know, it's not bad. And I think what we'll do is go straight into that jump gate. Oh, once we got rid of these pesky things. And that's it. They were very easy, weren't they? Right, okay, so Jump Kate will take us to Sector 2 and I think that is where we're going to leave it for this particular video. We'll pick up from here uh, next time. So there we go. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Oh look at that, slightly more colourful here.